Riverside Pain Physicians. Do you ever have numbness in your hands that is so painful that it wakes you up at night? Here to talk more about carpal tunnel syndrome is Dr. Scott Kramerick from Riverside Pain Physicians. And for those who don't know, it kind of explain what carpal tunnel syndrome is. I mean, you hear that especially around the office because you have so many people pecking away at computers, right. but kind of get into what exactly it means to have that. Well, that, that, that might be a misnomer. We're not sure that pecking away at computers okay. causes carpal tunnel syndrome anywhere. That seems to be a big, big controversy, but it's definitely stuff like heavy construction equipment operators like jackhammer guys who are always doing stuff with their their hands that can cause some carpal tunnel syndrome we think but what it is the carpal tunnel is a, is a thick rubber band like structure that is at the at the base of the wrist and across the top of the hand and uh, it can tighten and the nerve that's underneath of that called the median nerve can cause that can cause compression of that nerve and pain numbness and tingling uh, mostly numbness down into the hand it can wake you up at night uh, typically my patients will tell me that they wake up at night shaking their hand because it's so numb and it hurts them yeah you know it's, it's interesting I always used to think that carpal tunnel syndrome was something that was from the fingers because I have known someone that has had this condition and their fingers are what really hurt more than the wrist but is it that the wrist is um, is where the damaged area is and then it kind of shoots down to the fingertips? Is that kind of how the, the, the whole situation works? Right, that's it. So we call that three and a half finger numbness. Okay. It's the thumb and the, and the first two fingers and, and like half of this little ring finger here. Okay. And that's where the median nerve goes. So the damage is at the nerve where it intersects the wrist Got right it. there. Okay. And people who are maybe a little overweight or pregnant people who have some, uh, they're holding some water, can get some extra fluid inside there, uh, or they think that people who sleep in the curled up position like this yeah. can cause more flexion of that, of the, of the hand and the wrist, and that can cause more compression across that carpal canal there. And so that compression, that's what that causes it? I mean, when you're yes. talking about the jackhammer, that, that's how you get that feeling? Is it, is it reversible, or that's what, what, what do we you think. do? It's probably not reversible. We can treat it symptomatically, so if, if uh, so there's a range of things we can do to treat that. Uh, we can give patients wrist splints that hold their hands nice and, and straight like this yeah. so that they're not sleeping with their wrist cocked. Uh, that may help some of the symptoms. We, can, we have some evidence that nerve pain medicine, anti-inflammatory medicines, uh, B vitamins, uh, fish oil, those sort of things can be good for nerve-related pains. So we try those things, and if those things don't really work, uh, we can actually put, a, with a tiny little needle and an almost painless injection, under ultrasound, we can put some medicine around that exact nerve spot. Oh, wow. So yeah. you can really target it and really, because some people, I mean, it is excruciatingly painful. When they come into your office, can you test to find out if there isn't something else going on there, that it is indeed carpal tunnel syndrome? We make the diagnosis of carpal tunnel syndrome mostly just based on those symptoms. Okay. But if you, ha if you go like this with your hands mm -hmm. for a minute and your hands go numb, then you, you probably have carpal tunnel syndrome. I mean, and so that's one test that doctors do. The other test is we can do some electrical conduction tests across that nerve over in there too. And do you so. find that some people get this with age or do you see younger patients having Not carpal tunnel? Not the younger people so much. It's the middle-aged and older people or, or the exceptions are the people who are maybe overweight in accidents. Yeah. I have patients who get it after their hands have been jammed against a steering wheel. Uh, in, a, uh, in a car accident, uh, that can cause some traumatic carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, and so like we talked about the repetitive motion type uh, injuries, those, those things were, are a little more controversial. We're not sure that typists really get carpal That's tunnel syndrome. That's interesting. You know, you always yeah. hear that. You always, just, always hear that. Yeah, associate, you know, typing away at a computer with getting carpal tunnel. Right. Um, what kind of stories have you heard from patients who have been experiencing this pain for so long, and when they come into your office and they get this relief, what is it like for them? I mean, you don't think about using your hands. You know, you just do it until they're not you don't have the same use that you once had and then you realized how fortunate you were to be able to use your hands without pain. People ignore this problem because they think that well it just affects me once a night when I wake up and my hand hurts and it's numb and I shake it out and it gets you know it gets better and goes away and it doesn't really bother them so much during the day but it is a problem and if if they have that nerve compression going on for so long it can cause wasting of, of this big muscle here at the base of the thumb. That thumb can get wasted looking yeah. and, uh, and you can lose strength in your grip and, and other symptoms. And so it's a problem that needs to be treated, but it's often ignored by the patient because it doesn't, it doesn't bother them on a constant basis. So they're happy to hear that something so unusual actually has a diagnosis associated with it and that 
a couple things like I mentioned may be helpful. And if not, then we need to think about some surgical options. Yeah, but there are options. And I think that's what a lot of people are relieved to hear. Right. And also, you know, for pain just beyond you, because I know we're obviously being very specific about carpal tunnel syndrome, you guys work with people who have an array of issues. I mean, we talked before when you came on the right. show about back pain. A lot of people put up with back pain because they're afraid to get surgery or, you know, they're afraid that if they do something like an epidural, it's not going to make a difference. But you have worked with people and had amazing results. Yeah, these things make incredible differences in, in, in the way they're about to go, you know, living their activities of daily life and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Everything is bone, nerve, or muscle pain, and, and we treat it all, head yeah. to toe. That's yeah. great. Dr. Kramer, yeah. good to see you. Thanks you too, so much, you sir, too. For coming Thank in. We you. appreciate it. And thanks so much to Riverside Pain Physicians for coming on and sponsoring this segment. For more information about pain management, the physicians, and their locations, you can go to RiversidePainPhysicians.com or call them. Their number is there on the screen, 904-389-1010.